All right, so we're going to demonstrate some of the problems that we've discovered with the Carrick. So I've spawned two in, and I'm hopefully going to be able to demonstrate uh, multiple things that are actually going on here. Now, the first thing to do, uh, and we'll talk about um, a number of different things along the way. At the moment, what we can actually see here with the module, this is the general module being placed down at the moment with the two cannons. It actually uses three module points when you place it. However, if you place it on the left-hand side, versus the right hand side of the Carrick, it applies different things. Um, the tile is actually a mid-side left tile. So if you place it on the left of the Carrick, it applies the correct points. If you place it on the right, it does not. So I'll place one on the right hand side now. And it's saying it requires one, it's replacing zero. It should actually say required three, replacing zero. Um, and the current module points I would have thought should be zero. But if I place that, and then we have a look at what it's done. We can see that it's added one to the module point. And it will do that. And if you place any number of these cannons on that particular side, each time you do that, it's only adding one to the total module count. However, if I do it on the left-hand side, it has now added three, although this front one sometimes adds two. Uh, it's a little bit weird. But no, it's applied three. It went jump from six to three, so we plonk another one down and it will go to 12. And you can see here, the one is replacing a three now. So the, at least the replace count on the left hand side, it actually works out properly. So the replace is right, the required is wrong. Uh, the current modules on the left hand side is all right, but on the right hand side of the character, it's all a little bit wrong. Uh, so we've placed all of those we'll get down here. Now I'm gonna basically place down as many of these things as I can. Um, I feel like I should I can't remember which side I did it on for the uh, original character that I completely broke. But I'm just going to place down cannons until it breaks. Uh, you should be able to place down either 11 or 12, depending on any structures that you may have already placed on the ship. And so here we've basically hit the counter. Um, I've got the maximum module points, and it's also saying that there are too many structures on this platform. And if I try and replace something, it won't let me. You can actually see that I'm trying to actually go back down, but it won't. Uh, and then up the top, can't place mid side left. Uh, there are too many structures on the platform because I've actually exceeded the structure count and it won't let me actually build something to reduce the structure count by demolishing it. And you can't demolish modules anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And so, yeah, here on the right hand side, we can actually see uh, top there, can't place mid side left. On this side, can't place mid side left. So it's like all of the modules are classified as a uh, mid side left, although that's a modular gun port base. Um, but yeah, it's not letting me do anything because I've hit the structure limit. Uh, can I get out? I wonder, is the steering wheel considered a structure on this? If I demolish that, that gives me one structure point back come down here boom and now I can actually remove something and that's basically what we're facing that's what I was actually going to go and do over there um, in terms of the railings the railings seem to work just fine uh, I can ooh, hang on. if I do this I'm gonna hit my bloody structure count again I oh, will do that um, but yeah it says it requires two replacing zero you place that and it has actually applied just fine Coming over here. Um, yeah, so we've hit the cap. And this one at the very least actually says that the current module points are correct. Okay, so it's actually saying that it you know, requires two, it's replacing zero, and the current module points won't actually, it's going to exceed the, the maximum of 24, and it's saying insufficient module points. And so the railings seem to work nicely, but the module point, the modules themselves do not. Um, and what we ended up playing around with was uh, putting cupboards on there. I don't actually know how many cupboards I've got here. Uh, I've got five, so let's just make a few more of them. Do that. We go over to this one. So to save yourself from basically hitting that um, limit of, you know, which prevents you from building, you basically build a few structures on the ship first. And that will mean that if you hit the structure limit, you can destroy the structures that you've placed and know that you're actually safe to build. Um, and that seems to be one way to actually get around it. Uh, and what we might do is we might actually do all of the 
right hand side, which is the ones, and I'm going to place all of them this time. Well, actually, it should be the left hand side. I want to break the module count, I guess. Or do I? No. I just want to break the ship. Oh, that's right. No, I do actually want to do all the right left hand side because I want to break the module count to show how it's not actually applied properly. Place a couple of those back. Alright, so we're up to 20, we're on 23 of 24, and it'll let me place another one. It didn't prevent me from placing it, I now have 26 of 24 points. Alright, now it's warning me that I have insufficient module points. That was the other thing that we basically faced. But I shouldn't have hit the structure limit yet, so it should allow me to actually replace. I can replace the left hand side because it it's going to bring me under the module cap. But I can't replace the right hand side because it is only counted as one module point and it won't bring me below the module count. So another interesting thing there uh, that we discovered along the way. But yeah, if, if you end up hitting the structure limit, um, having that there in its place actually helps quite a lot you can actually get your ship sailing and actually place things down like beds and smithies and all the rest of that sort of stuff whereas uh the guy i was working with he's um basically said he built all of his structures on his ship first so he put down the the resource box the bed the smithy bookshelves mess table just put all of that stuff first before you even start thinking about touching the the modules themselves uh, and that way you know, even build a couple of extra structures as we were talking about, so that once you've actually put as many cannons as you can get and you hit that structure limit, you can then destroy a few things and things start working again properly. But that seems to be all the fun stuff we've discovered with the Carrick so far. Um, the, the sailing stuff is a known issue in terms of its speed, and that's not really what this video is about. It's purely about module points and the fact that they got stuck. Hey, well there you go.